Hi, I'm Modern Anomaly, and welcome to the Longest Journey Show. In this series, I will talk about past and present of electronic music iconic projects, tracks, and ideas. In this first episode, I would like to focus on 90s electronic music act, Music Instructor. Music Instructor was created by three electronic music producers and songwriters, Mike Michaels, Mark WM Dollar and Mark Tabak. However, before they formed Music Instructor, they already had some experience in producing electronic music. All three of them are credited as producers and writers on 1994 Slam's Eurodance song Back to Music. As well as a number of other tracks, some for such bizarrely named acts like United Colors of Vodka. Mark Tabak and Mike Michaels worked as writers and producers with several other German acts, like Robbie Rob, who seems like a German ripoff of Vanilla Ice, but that's really beside the point. In early to mid 90s in Europe, happy hardcore genre was gaining more and more popularity among rave music listeners. Having evolved from much darker styles like UK hardcore and Dutch gabber, Happy Hardcore put a light and cheerful twist on the genre by sticking to four on the floor rhythmic patterns using synth and piano riffs in major keys and very characteristic pitched up vocals. Some Happy Hardcore tracks even managed to gain mainstream recognition. One of the classics, Dune's Hardcore Vibes, went to number 5 on German charts in 1995. Hardcore vibes that are on tins, hey, hey. Hardcore vibes that are on this one is dedicated to all the ravers in the nation. So in 1995, Michael Stabak and Dollar went the happy hardcore way and formed a new project called Music Instructor. Their first single was Hem, a happy hardcore cover of 1982 New Wave song with the same name by Ultravox. <laughs> you might ask, do you transform a new wave song into a happy hardcore extravaganza? I will let the guys from Music Instructor explain. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to show you how to make a hit record. First, we start with the sequencer. And now we present the high hats. Yeah, get used to those narrations. They will use it a lot. These are the percussion instruments. Now it's time to welcome the bass drum. As cheesy as it sounds, it's kind of interesting how in this narration they basically explain the whole genre, listing all of its main components. Now here, the sequence melody. Of course the video itself is full of cheap 90s effects like vertical and horizontal split mirrors. All the time. One thing that I have to admit is that the sort of industrial-like set that they used looks quite cool. Now it's time to present the main vocal. <laughs> wow, whatever he's wearing, it looks ridiculous even by 90s standards. Listen how it sounds when we pitch them five notes up.
Well, indeed it kind of was. They got to number 8 in Germany and number 6 in Sweden, and they got their gold status in Germany. Their follow-up single was Hands in the Air, released in 1996 by Cologne Dance Label. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we want to show you how to have a party. Lift your hands up in the air and let them... Remember what I told you about the narrations? Yeah. Put your hands in the air, you know that love is everywhere. Holy shit, they even reused that hilarious costume from the previous video. And they got another one, strangely resembling Robocop. That Robocop costume will become sort of a common theme. Sure, it's only a glitch. Apart from the effects, just like in previous video, the editing got weirder, including random cuts to plants. Your music instructor. Yes, we know that. Feel the music. Or I'll stab you. Lift your hands up in the air. And we have more instructions. That must be the most adequately named act in the history of music. And I know 90s raves were wild and crazy, but I just can't get my head around those visuals. They are raving in an industrial prehistoric kitchen? Now it's time to sing all together. All together this song didn't do as well as the first one, even though it's more or less the same song. But having whole album of that stuff, they released the next single shortly after. Dance. That single was Dance. I will just let the visual sink in for a moment. The first 15 seconds of this video featured a DeLorean and Yankee Doodle. Isn't that the most German thing you've ever seen? Well, at least they got rid of those mirrored visuals and went with just weird color palette. From east to the west, north to the south, from the left to the right, check your body all the night. Your music instructor. Yes, we know. Wow, Sin City changed a lot since they filmed that video. His reaction is priceless. They should cut to it more often. See, it's great for everything. And of course we have our instructions. At this point this was probably as far as they could go with lyrics without covering someone else's song. And I know 90s were full of batshit crazy stuff, but did Robocop just travel back in time to Wild West in a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? And if you want dance, you'll be electrocuted just like that guy. Well, the song did even worse than the previous one. It got to number 38 on German charts and quickly disappeared. After the album The World of Music Instructor, they released two more singles. Dream a Little Dream and a cover of Queen's Friends Will Be Friends. Friends will be friends. No, that can't be true. Friends will be friends when you're in need of love to give you care and attention. Tension, tension, Party people from all nations, join us now celebration. Here it goes. Another red letter day, 
Soda pound is dropped and the children are creating The auto help run away Taking all the cash and leaving you with the number Got a pain in the chest, doctors on strike What you need is a rest Oh my god, of all the tracks they could cover, they chose the one that requires just insanely mad vocal skills to pull off. And I'm not even sorry to say that it sounds like crap. How is that even possible that not a single person involved said, hold on a second, it sounds like crap. Even the cat is pissed at him for totally butchering the classic. Unity of the nation. Well, that was random. United Kingdom, Russia, Russia. Switzerland, Switzerland, Germany. Well, that is oddly specific. He calls for unification of UK, Russia, Switzerland and Germany? But why? Because, you know, not long before this song was released, huge part of Germany was most inconveniently united with USSR, and I don't think Germans particularly liked that. Right <laughs> that explosion was amazing. Quick, cover behind me so you won't get hit by this crappy CGI. And this, because nothing says friendship more than Robocop and Frankenstein blended together in some futuristic environment. That's just creepy. Music <laughs> yeah, he does. But not until two years later, with his next album. In the meantime, they did some shows around the Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to show you how to make a hit record. First, we start with the sequencer. And now we present the high hats. These are the percussion instruments. Now it's time to welcome the bass drum. Let us now hear the sequence melody. You're not supposed to actually play the sequenced melody. It's sequenced. Oh, and they got their name wrong. Well, sort of. Huh, a wireless Roland sent. Listen how it sounds when we pitch them five notes up. <laughs> Sounds like music instructor, but it looks like he stopped singing before the playback track ended. At this point, even the Robocop guy didn't care anymore and just moved from the sound. Funny how his live mic sounds nothing like the voice on the song. In 1998 they released their second album, Electric City of Music Instructor. 
The opening track was Electric City. Already many of the mutants disguised as human beings are walking the streets of Earth City. This is the streets of Earth City. This is the streets of Earth City. Street of Earth City. Street of Earth City. As you can hear, it was quite a departure from their initial sound. They switched to more broken percussions and chose to go with overall electro feel. That route also shows with heavy use of vocoder and tag box throughout the tracks. Video is anything you would expect after previous clips, 90 CGI that is laughable by today's standards and incoherent visuals. But as I watched it, having in mind that it was low budget 90s clip, I was kind of surprised by the effort put in some of the 3D environments. It looked like someone was actually trying and did his best with the technology that was available. That itself deserves some respect. As for the track itself, I personally always quite liked it. The second track on the album was Planet Earth. En 1998, la situation de la planète devient de plus en plus grave. L'air n'est plus aussi pur. Il faut faire quelque chose. Sauver la planète. Sauver la planète. Sauver la planète. That track was always my favorite from the album. It has an awesome broken beat and cool use of samples. They used dialogues from 1957 B-movie, Rain from Planet Arrows. Please be seated. I come to you on the friendliest of missions. What do you want us to do? You can help me save the Earth from a terrible experience. Yes, the whole Earth. Gore is insane for power. That's why he came to Earth when he escaped from Eros. With its B-movie feel, it really reminded me of the track Nightmare by Brainbug. Overall, I think this track is great and sets a high bar for the rest of the album. The third track on the album is a cover of a big 1983 hit by Shannon called Let the Music Play. They stayed surprisingly close to the original material. They did the same stabs, melodies and of course vocals. And even though Veronique's vocal is much softer and more girly than Shannon's, I kind of liked it. You can't say there is no passion in her voice and she didn't completely butcher the track like Mr. Holy Trance butchered poor Freddie Mercury in Friends Will Be Friends. 
It's a good cover, just slightly updated for the Electro Age, with not a lot of changes, but performed really well. Fourth track on the album was Supersonic. Your music oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That beat again is really cool. And we meet Flying Steps, b-boy crew formed in 1993 in Berlin. As we will see later, they did some more work with music instructor beyond this track. Ultimately the track got to number 4 on German charts and charted in many European countries. The single went gold in Germany. For me if I was to think about typical 90s electro tune, that track would probably be somewhere around my first choices. The next track on the album was Breakdance. It has basically the same premise as the previous one, broken beat, jumpy bassline and lots of vocoder. They used a sample from Art of Noise, Moments in Love. The sixth track on the album was interesting in its own way. It was officially Music Instructor featuring Lunatics, Flying Steps and Ape. Ape, the character from the popular and loved video game Ape's Odyssey. That was the first time ever that the virtual character had an official featuring and video appearance in a mainstream song. Yes, on the fat trap with the ABE guess that's the fat max so hands up high in the air shake around like you just don't care Cause we are the best for you with the demo a will move the truth so move the bus from left to right to the party rock until the day to night Is there any significance to this fact now? Well, I don't think so. The idea didn't catch that much of attention, but it still stays as an interesting concept in blending different art and entertainment fields. And even though you can still clearly see you're watching a 90s video, CGI got much better. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but if you compare this... to this... I'm sure you will get my point. Make the hips dance, whack with the knees, so please stay off my back. Down on a mission, I'm on a mission to track like that. Ain't no competition, best take a seat and all the list. Cause we bust you just like that. But now it's time for the ape attack. To the north, to the east, to the south, to the west. Overall, I think this track is awesome. Great beat, catchy chorus, and appears from a classic video game character. It even went platinum in Germany. 
from myself, five stars. Next track is another cover. They remade classic track Jam On It by Nucleus from 1983. Again, they stick pretty close to the original, updating it slightly for the current electro feel. They even did a little cute tribute opening. Yeah, yeah, we go back, y'all. You know, new school represent the old school. Back to the roots. <laughs> it's jam on that. We know, we know. Remember back in the days? Shit, flow that. The old school. The granddaddies. My granddaddies. Your granddaddies. The hip hop granddaddies. The roots. A few words of a track and let me sit back When we get down, bust the mics with a smack I'm the boogie king with the second big match We throwing down with the fake of fools at So that, what we your mind, you see You got a boogie to your best ability You got to funk it up into the underground Where you fucking up, make sure you messing around So come on, yo, let's go to work The battle of the year and the whole battle It's actually not a bad interpretation yeah, And shake your butt and scream, oh yeah Cause we are Jam on two and jamming on this, how we got to do it. We gotta funk it up until you boogie down. So come on, people jamming to the sound. Jam on it, I jam on it, I jam on and on, on it. Number eight was a downbeat ballad by a really heavy use of talk box. Like a robotic love song. Kinky? Somebody wants to know what's going on. Still, the huge contrast between the tug box parts and the female parts sung by Maya makes this track at least somewhat interesting, and overall production is pretty good. And the idea is unique in its own way. Well, for an electro ballad of the 90s, I give it thumbs up. Next one is Rock Your Body, another classic b-boy friendly electro with a heavy use of vocoder and jumpy beat. It is also great that instead of doing CGI, they filmed robot dance and skateboard stunts. Great choice. Next one is another cover very close to the original. They remade a track Don't Stop the Rock by Freestyle from 1985. It was one of the classic tunes that were covered over and over again by many artists. Never 
And they remade it like that. Just figure it out for yourselves. They covered one more track, Pack Jam by Yonzun Crew. If you look at the original Yonzun Crew video, you will definitely see where the Triple M got their inspiration from. cover. The rest of the album is not really that interesting to talk about. There is pretty cool track Galaxy Jam and several other tracks based on the same idea as the others, Broken Electro Beat and Vocoders. There's even a Rock Your Body remix by mentioned earlier Brain Bug, which is quite good. All in all, I have some great memories associated with this album. It was a great introduction to Broken Beats before I started listening to acts like The Crystal Method and Chemical Brothers. There are tracks with a lot of creativity in them and others with pure b-boy jump up energy and for me it's still a record that I constantly go back to. Yeah, it has dated a bit. But in a good way. It's like a snapshot of 90s electro music, and that's what I love about it. They released some more singles after that album. In 2000, they collaborated with Dirty Dean on a track Superfly. As I remember, this track got pretty damn big. They released one more single with Veronique, the girl that sang the Shannon cover. But apart from video production quality and ripoff of American Beauty throughout the clip, there's not much to talk about. Your 
the track may not be that bad, for me it's just really forgettable. And that was the last we heard from Music Instructor, but Triple M didn't stop producing completely. In 2001 they produced a track Dominus et Domina for Dirty Dean's band Highland. They also collaborated with other German musicians like Ayman. A year later they produced a single for German girls band My Girl. Throughout 2000s, Trio was producing a German boy band Us5. Let's talk about one, baby. You gotta hear me out. Do you really wanna be the last to know what it's all about? Let's talk about two. You say he's the essence of your life. But he'll eat you up from inside slow. And then he doesn't wanna know. For me it seems that Electric City of Music Instructor was a highlight in their career. I believe that this album was very influential for a lot of people. It is for you to decide if it was really good or it's just nostalgia kicking in. In any case, they put a permanent mark on the 90s electronic music scene and I'm glad they did. If you haven't heard this album for a while, go check it out, it's a great kickback to the past. Let me know in the comments what is your take on Music Instructor and what other artists you would like me to talk about. And of course, if you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel for future episodes. Thank you very much for watching. For now, weather anomaly fading out.